today's adventure, we're still in West Clark, and as I drive along the coast road, I decided to use my drone and show you how I would take different types of shot that the drone can offer. However, my screen record didn't work, so I can't show you how I took each shot. But nonetheless, let's continue on this journey around this stunning part of West Cork. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm still in West Cork and as I was driving on to my next location, I passed an area here which I recognize in the maps is called Toe Head. And as you might have seen there from the intro when I was driving along the road, it's an absolutely beautiful part of the country. Now, I'm on flat light again still today, so there's not going to be much dynamic light that's going to be hitting anything to take photographs of. But what I've decided to do is just to use my drone. So I have my drone here um, and I'm going to send it out over the uh, headland and I'm going to go back out to sea and I'm going to shoot back in and I'm going to use a couple of the features that the drone has within the software. So you can do a uh, vertorama which is a panorama but in a vertical portrait orientation and then you can also do a traditional panorama shot, a very wide angle 180 degree shot and then I'm also going to take a couple of standard photographs as well using the 48 megapixel that's within the DJI Mavic Air 2. Um, there's no wind as well today so it's going to be pretty straightforward for me to send the drone out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send the drone out and then I'll pick it back up um, when I have the drone close enough actually to the edge of the headland and I'll talk you through then how I'm going to compose those photographs and take the shots using this technology. Now it was around here that I started recording my sweet voiceover, explaining how I went into each setting and how I positioned the drone to ensure the framing was correct. For my first shot, I positioned the drone on the edge of the coastline and ensured that nothing would be cut from the frame. Here is that shot. Now for the vertical panel. It's important that you're positioned right above your subject, otherwise the bottom frame of the shot will only be full of blank water. Now for the traditional horizontal panel, it's important that you fill the center of the frame, so when the drone takes multiple shots, your subject doesn't become too insignificant in the wide image. As I was bringing the drone back in, I was confident that I had produced a good video with really good educational pieces. Unfortunately, to my dismay, I didn't, like I said, have this recorded. But it's still good for me to show you the beautiful area that we have in West Cork, an area that many people bypass and head straight to Kerry, myself included. But I was glad on this day that I took the time to explore some more. So I think that was a productive flight and um, the conditions actually were perfect so there was no real wind or anything that to contend with. Would have liked a nice bit of extra light but as I saw on the back of the screen there there was some interesting clouds behind me so I think that should give a nice dynamicness to the photograph. So I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this airborne journey and to this beautiful part of West Cork. If it's your first time on the channel please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time. 
Schlange folgen.